They both kind of mention helping, helping. That's a new word. They both mention helping. Hey guys, welcome back. So got another PR haul and show and tell video for y'all today. So I've got a lot of goodies here. So I'm gonna run through the different products, show you some swatches and just kind of like let you know my first impressions and initial thoughts on these products and just do a little haul and show and tell. So let's get to it. So this first thing might be a little bit difficult to show because it's very heavy, but Bath and Body Works was so incredibly sweet and sent me this giant box of a bunch of different goodies. It's so cute. It says, will you be our Valentine? And the back of this lid, super duper cute. I love that pattern. So the box itself is adorable. And then it has a bunch of goodies inside. Let me try to pick it up again. So it's got like a candle in it and a bunch of different bath products. And then there's even some bath fizzies. I didn't realize that they have bath fizzies. I'm sure they've been around for a while and I'm just like behind on the game. Didn't even know it, but They've got different bath fizzies, like warm vanilla sugar. If I have little confetti stuck to me, like stuck to my face later in this video, I apologize, because this stuff is like glue. Like it just wants to stay with you. So there's warm vanilla sugar. There's beautiful day. There were some other ones in here too. Japanese cherry blossom, just a bunch of different bath fizzies. So that's really fun. But I think what I'm most excited about from this box is this, this line. It's, I guess it's 2D. <laughs> 2D Dulce, yeah, I think 2D Dulce. So there is White Mocha Kiss, there is Golden Honey Praline, there is Pink Peony Cream, and I think there's another one, Sweet Lemon Buttercup. Oh my gosh. These all smell so yummy. They like have a, I don't know, like a warmth to them. And a lot of times I'm not a fan of those sort of scents, but it's like vanilla, but with a little bit of warmth, but I like it. I think my favorite, this one's really yummy, the Sweet Lemon Buttercup, but I think, and it, it smells more, it has more of a spice to it than a lemony sweet scent. Yeah, it's definitely, it's got a spiciness. Does it have something written here? No, it doesn't say anything about it, but I think my overall favorite is pink peony cream. I mean, that's adorable that it's pink and, you know, like polka dotty. P.S. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Like, it's just, it's a little bit crazy. Like, is it curly? Is it just ratty looking? I'm not really sure, but we're going to go with it. Yeah, this one's, this one's got to be my favorite, the pink peony cream. It's like got a, this one has more of like a sweet with the spiciness. Yeah, and it's got that peony sort of a scent. It's so yummy. Okay, also in here, there's like shower gel. They have shower gel. They're beautiful candles, like their little holders are so gorgeous. This candle inside, what is this one? This is strawberry mimosa. Ooh, let's see. Oh my gosh, yeah, it smells like mimosa. Well, strawberry, oh my gosh, did it say about it? It says, juicy wild strawberry effervescent lemon zest sugar crystals. That's so good. And it's light. It's not real overpowering, so I think it would be a really nice light, fresh sort of a candle. But still that like mimosa sort of a scent. It's so yummy. And there's one other thing in here. What's in here? There's a little bag with confetti all over it. I don't know... Did I open this? I don't remember opening this. Let's see what's in it. Oh, there's little, oh, I didn't open this yet. I guess I don't know. I thought this was just a bag, but it's got things in it. Oh, they're little lip bonbons. That is so cute. So there's golden honey praline in that, and then pink peony cream in that. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. There's one other thing in here that's not one of those. This is the Shea Butter Forever Pink Hand Cream. So that was in there too. And the other one is Sweet Lemon Buttercup. So just so fun. Bath & Body Works so happy and just girly and fun. And that box, again, with the pattern is adorable. And Pure Cosmetics was so sweet and sent me their Bare It All 12 Hour 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. So I actually picked these two colors that match me the closest. I'm honestly kind of like, right in between these two, so I'm glad that I had both of them. There is porcelain and then light. So 
right in between. The mix of them is perfect, and that's what I'm wearing on my face today. I've been trying this out and trying it in different combinations. I was really kind of like noticing my skin getting really oily with it later in the day, but I think it was solely hormonal because I noticed like a few days later, I was trying it with the same exact like primers, not primers, different kind of primers, and I was not having the same results with it. So I think the oiliness was 100% hormones. Gotta love that. <laughs> so these I'm really enjoying. Like I think it's a really pretty full coverage foundation. Some things I'm noticing about it, let me know if you wanna see like a full try it on so you can actually see it demo review sort of a video. But um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> Wow, I like really drew a blank. Ding, I finally remember that took way too long for my brain to kick back in. But what I've noticed about this is I kind of have to work quick with it. So I don't always do this, but it's better if I'll apply the foundation, rub it in on one section, apply it the next section, rub it in versus like kind of dotting it all over my face and then rubbing it in. I still do that, but I notice it blends better if I go section by section because it seems to dry pretty quickly. So what does it say about it? It says, this high performance 12 hour demi matte foundation helps to cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas over time so you can confidently bear it all. Designed for face and body and formulated with Pure's proprietary energy complex and serotonin complex, this formula renews the look of your skin and goes the distance. I'm really, really enjoying this a lot. Like when you get it on your skin, it just looks like skin. Like it's not crazy matte, but it's not dewy for sure. If anything, it's, it's moving towards being a matte foundation. By saying that it's demi matte, I think that's a good description because it's not crazy matte, but it's definitely not glowy. So it's just a really pretty skin-like foundation. Does wear well unless you're having a hormonal oily week or something like I randomly was. When I, uh, I have tried it other times other than that, I'm noticing that it's lasting really well. And I've tried it a bunch of different ways with different primers, different powders, but let me know if you wanna see like a full video on it. Then Delium Tools sent me a new brush set that they have. This is really cool. It's called I Am First. So it says, hashtag I Am First. Determined, able, beautiful, loved, present, ready, enough, strong, happy, confident. And this is what the inside says. It says, Delium Tools launches the I Am First campaign intended to generate and utilize positive thoughts to drive self-worth and to love yourself first and foremost. Starting with your morning makeup routine, makeup is where your state of mind starts for most. Studies, shows that, studies show that you criticize yourself more often than you realize. Isn't that the truth? I know I do that for sure. Inside of us at times, there's self-doubt and criticism but we want to silence that. Know that your thoughts inspire action. Take a few moments of your day to reflect on you and only you. Put yourself first and reset your mind and actions every day. Looking beautiful is one thing, but feeling beautiful is another. So cool. That is why that we are introducing the I Am First brush set. This limited edition brush set includes 10 best-selling brushes from our studio line, each displaying a positive affirmation. So there's different ones. So like the large powder is I Am Confident, the slanted blusher is I am determined and it goes on from that. So all those different things, just really cool. The box is really beautiful. And then it just has all these great brushes inside. If you watch my channel, you know, I love Delium Tools brushes. I think they are such nice quality. Some of my very favorite brushes and I love the yellow. They're just happy and they're just great brushes. So there's a bunch of different ones in here, 10 different brushes with a really cool message. Along the same lines of a really cool message, Ofra's doing something really neat too. So to celebrate being an animal cruelty-free company, we created this limited edition liquid lipstick shade, Treasure, which launched on National Love Your Pet Day, which was February 20th. Says a portion of each unit sold will be donated to a local animal shelter. To spread awareness of this campaign, we would love to see a picture of you and your pet wearing your favorite Ofra product using the hashtag, hashtag Ofra C Free. Love the Ofra fam. So, so sweet. Love that campaign. Love the idea of that. That's amazing because I'm an animal lover. So here is this color right here. This is Treasure. So it's a really beautiful kind of like metallic-y burgundy wine sort of a color. 
It's really beautiful, has like an edginess to it. So love the color of that. I love the Ofra liquid lipsticks. They are so, did I, I feel like I said that weird. Ofra liquid lipsticks. Did I say that weird? I feel like I did. I love the Ofra liquid lipsticks because they're really comfortable. They're kind of like right in between where they do transfer a little bit, but not a lot. And they're still really long wearing, but they're really comfortable. And they don't do that like in between line, not like line there, not there sort of a thing, which I hate. It doesn't do that. So I really like this formula. They smell amazing like cupcakes or dessert or something amazing. So love the formula on it. And then they sent a little animal toy, which is so sweet. I think it's supposed to be a dog toy, but Chester loves it too. Cause I just kind of like, you know, wiggle it in his face and he gets all excited and goes after it and looks adorable. And he always looks adorable though. He's just adorable. So I love this campaign. I think it's awesome. And Pixie has been so generous lately. If you saw my recent video on the brand new releases from Pixie of all their collabs with some beauty influencers, they sent me like a huge box with a bunch of new releases. So I did a whole video on that where I reviewed each of those products. So I will link that for you. So they sent me that, but they also sent me this, which is a really cute, it had some like rose petals in here. So it was very kind of like rosy themed. It says, hello rose, hello glow. Fall in love with our favorites for a fuss-free glow. So it has three different products in here. So there is the Glow Booster in Pink Pearl. There is the Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold. And there is the Lip Lift Max in Sheer Rose. And this is supposed to be a lip plumping, lip plumping, lip plumping gloss alone. So you can wear it alone or over your favorite pixie lip color. So let me show you these. I have these all swatched here on my hand. So there is that glowy, like, what's that called? The Glow Booster in Pink Pearl. It's really cool. When it first comes out of the tube, it looked kind of more light, but when you rub it in, it has like more of a pinkiness to it. This is the duo in the middle here. Now this blush, this blush really does take a lot of building up. I do have this on my cheeks today. I love it once it's built up, but it does take quite a bit of it to really show up. I don't know why that is, but once you get it built up, that's what it looks like. So it's really, really pretty. The highlighter is pigmented right off. So that's gorgeous. So love the highlighter in that. I do like the blush. I just wish it didn't take so much to build up. I don't mind a blush that needs a little bit of working with, but this needs quite a bit of building, but the end result is still really pretty. And then there is the gloss there. So it's kind of like a brownie rose sort of a color and has a minty scent to it. So really nice stickiness, little bit sticky, but not super sticky. I would say sticky enough that it's gonna stick around, but not like crazy uncomfortable sticky. Then Derma E has some new products, which is really exciting because I've really liked the stuff that I've tried from them already. It says, hello, beautiful. We're excited to introduce you to our new vitamin C must haves. 100% stable vitamin C, moisturizing hyaluronic acid, skin balancing probiotics, and antioxidant rich Rui Boss. Rui Boss. Rui Boss. That's my best guess. Help to brighten and shield your skin for a healthy, revitalized complexion. It says, see the love inside and out. So that's really cute. So there is the vitamin C concentrated serum. It says hyaluronic acid. And then there is the vitamin C renewing moisturizer. And it says probiotics and Rui Boss. Sure, that's what we're going to go with. Rui Boss. Rui Boss. Rui Boss. I don't know. I like that word, though. It's a fun, silly word, and it makes me smile. It says 100% stable vitamin C and it says supports collagen health. So they both kind of mention helping, helping. That's a new word. They both mention helping. I like when things are helping. <laughs> it says that they're supposed to help with collagen health and then help with like uneven skin tone and with fine lines and wrinkles. So that's essentially what these are supposed to do. So that's exciting. Helping. They're supposed to helping with those things. Merle Norman sent me a really sweet box with a bunch of different colors that were very kind of like Valentine's themed. So I'm gonna run through the different swatches here and show you each of them. So we're gonna start right up here. This one is my favorite from the group. That is the Age Defying Plus Lip Color in Fuchsia Flirt. Beautiful. Next we have the Age Defying Plus Lip Color in Heartthrob. So that's that one. I love that formula. It's so comfortable, but long wearing, it's amazing. Then we have the Creamy Lip Color in Raspberry Crush. That's that third one. That one's a beautiful kind of like, 
I don't know, everyday mauve -y sort of a shade. On the end there, we have the creamy lip color in Amour. So that's a beautiful, like, raspberry bright red. It's really, really beautiful. Down here, we have the creamy lip color in Sweetheart. That one's kind of like a muted, I don't know, pinky red or something like that. It's really an interesting color. Then there's a creamy lip color in Romance. So this one is one that you could apply it more lightly and have a more sheer application, but it does built up, built up. I'm speaking so articulately today. It can be built up, is what I'm trying to say. So that one's Romance. Then they have the lip glaze. If you like more sheer, like everyday sort of lip colors, not full on pigment, I think you'd really like the lip glazes. And that one is in Very Romantic. There's that one. And then on the end, we have the Kiss and Hug Lip Gloss in Red Velvet. So a really beautiful, shiny red. So all gorgeous. Their lip products are so nice. Really, almost everything I've tried from them, I've been so impressed with. And I feel like they're really underrated. They're a great brand. So beautiful lip products there. Love them. Elle sent me the cutest spring themed box. I love this. I love that they did the little green confetti because it just looks like little pieces of grass and it just looks happy and just makes me smile. So love this box. So there's a bunch of different lip products in here. So I swatched some of them for you. A couple of these I'm going to put in the giveaway as well. So I'm not swatching everything. I do want to wear this one, but I didn't get to swatch it. But anyway, I wanted to show you at least some of them. So first off, there is the moisturizing lipstick in Velvet Rope. This is a very like, I would say it's more orange with a little bit of red in it. So that's Velvet Rope. This one is Orange Dream. Love that, just like a true fun orange. That's amazing. This is the Day to Night Lipstick Duo in I Love Pinks. So that would be really cool. It's like a double-ended, let me show you real quick. Let me show you the swatches. See them all there? There they are, okay. So this is a really cool double-ended thing. So perfect for keeping in your purse and having a Day to Night lip option. So this I'm excited to play with. This is the Lip Definer and Shaper in Natural and Nude. So I think that's gonna be a really pretty nude lip combo. This one here I'm gonna put in the giveaway. This is the Runway Palette. This is a lip palette. So that looks really pretty. And I've heard that this smells really good. And then the Lip Exfoliator in Rose. So I have a lip exfoliator. So there is that too. So adorable box. And a couple things from Octoly. First off is the Givenchy Les Prisme Super Stellar Palette. I loved the six pan palette that they sent me. That one was so pretty. I know it had mixed reviews, but I personally loved it, so I was excited to try this one too. I do like this one also, not as much as the other one, mainly because it's not as practical because it just has three. This gets really dirty when you're using it. Like I really tried to wipe it off, but you know, you get product everywhere because it does kick up product and you're just trying to get to it. So looks kind of messy, but it is really cute. Like it's cute that it's like a star shape. It's a cute palette. It has a high price point, so that's a negative to it, but it does feel special. Like it feels like something special and it is nice. Like the peach doesn't swatch very well, but I do have this on my eyes. So I have that peach in my crease and it does show up and I think it's really pretty. This is definitely the standout for me because I, I love those glittery shades. That's what I loved about the other palette too. That's what kind of got mixed reviews as people were saying they didn't like the chunkiness of it and how it was like, I mean, it's a chunky glittery shadow, but I think it's really pretty. I have that one on my eyes today with some Mac Fix Plus. I have just a little bit of the purple in my outer corner. So it is really, really pretty. It's just up there in price. So I would say for like a special, you know, occasion or something like that, I think it would be cool. But for the everyday, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit high priced for what you're getting, I think. This I was really excited to try. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer Plus Serum. So it says, inspired by Kate's clinic in Los Angeles, Wrinkle Warrior is an all-in-one wrinkle fighter that works as both a moisturizer and serum with HA. It says three sizes of hyaluronic acid targets three types of wrinkles, crow's feet, fine lines, and deep wrinkles. It effectively, HA3, effectively targets various layers of the epidermis to deliver immediate within 30 minutes and long-term plumping and hydration and improves the appearance of skin firmness and elasticity. The lightweight texture absorbs instantly to create a smooth complexion and prep for a more flawless makeup application. So I've tried this multiple times because it says on the front, 
one use 100% showed improvement in the look of wrinkles. So I first used it at night and I couldn't notice a huge difference. Like my skin looked nice, but it wasn't like an instant, oh my goodness, I could see the little fine lines changing. I really didn't notice that. But I used it the next morning, really, really liked wearing it under my makeup. So that's been what I've been using it for the most. I've been using it at night as well, but I get excited to use it during the day because it really does, it's almost like a primer plus a serum. Like it just perfects the look of your skin. It really does smooth and plump things. So I do feel like it does what it says it's gonna do. I don't know about the long-term benefits because I haven't used it long enough to really know about those, but just the short term, I'm liking it, especially under my makeup. And I love the packaging because it's pink and metallic and pretty and girly. So I love the look of it. It's like a pump sort of a thing. So this comes off and then you have a pump there. So nice packaging to it, really pretty. I'm impressed with this. And I really kind of wondered how I would feel about it. I don't know, just cause I, it's expensive. So I wondered if I would think it was really that great, but I'm thinking it's really great, especially before my makeup. All right guys, so that wraps up this PR haul and show and tell. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you think about these products. If you've tried any of them, I would love to know your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.